The title of this book is Have You Thanked an Inventor Today? by Patrice McLaurin, illustrated by Diane Wang. This world is full of inventions, some of them we don't even think about. But if we took the time to think about them, we'd realize we wouldn't want to live without them. You see, inventions, they make our lives much easier, and they also make our lives more fun. So we should thank the inventors who invent great inventions, for without them, we might not get anything done. Like, for instance, when your mom wakes you up in the morning to let you know it's time to go to school. You stretch and yawn, rub the corners of your eyes, and you probably wipe away the last night's drool. That's when you happen to glance over at your clock and you realize that you're running a little bit late. Well, you wouldn't know that were it not for Benjamin Banneker, who invented the first clock in the United States. So, you put on your clothes and you rush into the bathroom. You wash your face and brush your teeth and then you brush your hair. Well, you should thank Lida Newman for part of your morning grooming, as the modern day hairbrush was her awesome idea. Afterwards, you're called to the kitchen for breakfast. This morning, it's cereal with fruit and with uh, wheat toast. Well, thank goodness John Standard improved the refrigerator because hot milk with your cereal is pretty gross. And when you're on your way to school, whether you're a bus rider, a car rider, or you walk, you have to thank Garrett Morgan for the traffic light. Otherwise, none of our streets would be safe to cross. Then, after you've settled into the classroom and you've taken out your supplies because you're such a scholar, please remember to show love to John Love, for his invention was none other than the pencil sharpener. Now, as much as I know you love to learn, you'll admit that sometimes lunch is your favorite time of day. Well, you can thank John Robinson for your lunchbox. But for what's inside, it's your mom that you need to thank. And what does your mom usually pack in your lunchbox? Tasty snacks that make your belly go yum. Like peanut butter, made popular by George Washington Carver. Or potato chips, invented by George Crumb. Fast forward to the, um, the school day is over. It's been a long one, and you're happy to be home. You check the mailbox, invented by P. Downey. Then you chill in front of the air conditioner invented by Frederick Jones. Plus, your teacher didn't assign any homework, so you decide to play a few games on the cell phone. Well, if it wasn't for Hen Henry Sampson's gamma electric cell, believe it or not, there would be no cell phone. And these are just a few of the awesome inventions. There are countless other ones that I didn't even mention, like the doorknob invented by O. Dorsey or a type of guitar invented by Robert Fleming. Sarah Boone invented the iron board, and Thomas Stewart invented the mop. Lonnie Johnson invented the super soaker, and W.A. Martin improved the lock. So now, here's what I want you to do. I'd like for you to take a moment or two and ponder over what life would be if these inventions weren't created for you. Then, as you lie in bed this evening and you think about how your day was spent, don't forget to thank an inventor then dream about what you'd like to invent. So now, let's read some biographies. Benjamin Banneker was a mathematician, astronomer, and writer. He invented America's first clock in the early 1750s, and he helped to design the city of Washington, D.C. Thank you, Benjamin Banneker. Frederick McKinley Jones was a mechanical and electrical engineer. Though his patent states he invented an, an air conditioning unit, Jones actually invented the first automatic re refrigeration system for trucks, thus revolutionizing the grocery business. The air conditioner was invented by Willis Carter. Thank you, Frederick Jones. Garrett Morgan was a, a repairman and a business owner. He invented the three light traffic signal in 1923. He also invented an improved sewing machine and the gas mask. Thank you, Garrett Morgan. George Washington Carver was a teacher at Tuskegee at the Tuskegee Institute. He invented over a hundred products with the uh, with the potato, the, excuse me, with the peanut and the sweet potato. Thank you, George Washington Carver. 
George Crumb was a cook and a restaurant owner. He invented the potato chip in 1853. Thank you, George Crumb. Thomas, excuse me, Henry Thomas Sampson, he's an inventor and a nuclear engineer. He invented the gamma electric cell, which is the cell used in powering cell phones in 1971. Thank you, Henry Thomas Sampson Jr. John E. Love was an inventor. He invented the portable pencil sharpener in 1889. This pencil sharpener was also known as the Love Sharpener. Thank you, John Love. John Robinson was an inventor. He invented the lunchbox in the 1890s. Thank you, John Robinson. John Standard was an inventor. He invented an improved model of the, of the refrigerator in 1891. He also invented an improved oil stove. Thank you, John Standard. Lonnie G. Johnson is a nuclear engineer. He invented the super soaker water gun in 1982. He also worked on space missions to Jupiter and Saturn. Thank you, Lonnie G. Johnson. Lyda Newman was a hairdresser and a women's rights activist. She invented an improved model of the hairbrush in 1898. She also fought for women's right to, for the women's right to vote. Thank you, Lyda Newman. Osborne Dorsey was an inventor. He invented the doorknob in 1878. He also invented the door stop. Thank you, O. Dorsey. P.B. Downing was an inventor. He invented the street letter mailbox in 1891. He also invented an electrical switch for rail railroads. Thank you, Philip P. Downing. Robert Fleming Jr. was an inventor. He is best known for inventing a version of the guitar in 1886. Thank you, Robert Fleming Jr. Sarah Boone was an inventor. She invented the ironing board in 1892. Thank you, Sarah Boone. Thomas Stewart was an inventor. He invented an improved version of the mop in 1893. He also invented a bending, a metal bending machine. Thank you, Thomas Stewart. W.A. Martin was an inventor. He invented an improved version of the lock in 1889. Thank you, W.A. Martin. And I'm guessing you might be an inventor too. What are you inventing? Let us know. The end.